I'll get to the wine noodles later, but for now, I'm concentrating on the lamb shank and the aromatic broth. And actually, the gochujang does most of the work. So I've got a litre of cold water there. And I want a tablespoon of gochujang. I mean, a little goes a long way, so this is hot. Stir it in to help it on its way. And in goes the lamb shank. And now for the veg, no peeling required. One carrot and some coins of fresh ginger. Plus a couple of banana shallots, halved, and two bruised cloves of garlic. Then star anise and allspice berries with their sweet musky pepperiness. And a particular favorite, cumin seeds. As with all broths, you need to salt vigorously. Enough water to cover and heat until it comes to the boil. Then clamp on the lid and cook in a 150 centigrade oven, that's 130 with a fan on, for two and a half hours. I take the tender meat off the bone and strain the broth over it before letting it cool. And to allow the flavors to deepen and mellow, I leave to chill in the fridge overnight. The fabulously fiery color of this broth is an absolutely fair indication of the warmth it bestows. <laughs> I am a great believer in fat, but what I want from this is piercing clarity. So I'm just removing those orange shards of fat. That was strangely satisfying. And now the lamb. shred it just a bit. I don't want it to go stringy, but I want to be able to have it in spoon-sized pieces. And now for the broth. Ooh, look at that. It's got the slight quiver of jelly in it. I don't want to lose any of this precious liquid, so I'm going to heat it with a lid on and very, very gently. I can forget about that now because I have wide noodles to cook and although I do want one day to make those wonderful sort of cat's cradle of um, biang biang noodles, right now I am very happy with pappardelle. In with the aromatic broth, I want not only the softness of the lamb, the robust tangle of the pasta, but the crunchy leafiness of cabbage. What nice chunky strips. And I just cook the cabbage in the pasta pan when the pappardelle are almost ready. A little stir. It's time. First, the cabbage and wide noodles. Lamb, ready for succulent spoonfuls. And, of course, my aromatic broth. I love the quiet ceremony of assembling this. That's not quite it. I am a complete condiment queen. 
And what I need on this, well, on many things, is Chinese crispy chilli. It makes everything sing. This is bowl food at its best. 